Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to set up my bullet journal for December. This year, for December, I wanted to do a non-Christmas theme because I'm seriously so fed up of all the Christmas themes. Most of them are repeated versions of Christmas trees everywhere. Not that I hate Christmas themes, I myself have done many Christmas themes over the years. I just wanted to try something new. Though this theme might not be based on Christmas, but I love cozy winter vibes. So I think maybe it would be fine to draw a snowman or something. But instead, I ended up drawing a white bunny in a bag. And for the medium, I used watercolors. If you guys have been watching my videos, I like to use watercolor on my bullet journal a lot. I know I have said this before, but most people don't really use watercolors on their bullet journal. But watercolors is something that I enjoy doing every day. Anyways, back to the cover page. I chose different shades of blue and I kind of drew a moon in the background. Also, the water technique I am using here is loose coloring. I'm not going to color in dark details or anything. I'm not perfect at watercolors. I'm just trying to get better at it every day. I'm going to use a black fine liner to outline the bunny illustration. Is it just me or the bunny illustrations always go well with the moon? I have seen quite a lot of bunny themes and most of them are accompanied with moon illustrations. I have recently bought a lot of stationery from Journal Say and I'm going to use most of that in this video. I will provide link of the products in the description box and you can also use my code Serene Journal for 8% off on your order. As for the header, I'm going to use this neutral blue tone highlighter that I also bought from Journal C. Instead of writing December directly on the page, I wrote this on the square grid page to make it all pretty. Have you ever come across these beautiful minimalistic themes on Pinterest and be like, wow? One thing I notice is that most of these minimalistic themes are done on square grid notebooks or there's some drawing or headers drawn or written on the same paper and been pasted on dot grid ones. So I wanted to, to give it a try. I'm not really minimalistic for my bullet journal, so I tried a little proportion of minimalism on my theme. The keyword is I tried. And yes, I'm using stickers that are again bought from Genesee. This stuff is really beautiful and of great quality. And no, this video is not sponsored by Genesee. I love how this cover page has turned out to be. I'm going to use the same method to write header on my monthly log. This theme is kind of inspired by my previous theme for October. I received quite a few compliments on that theme and I wanted to say thank you for watching and liking that theme. As for the monthly log, I like to make it on the front page of the cover page. Monthly log is quite useful for me. It's where I write important dates. Or appointments and I have a little growth tracker for my YouTube as well as Instagram beneath the calendar box although I'm not quite active on Instagram but I'm looking forward to posting more and we are done with the first spread of the December Moving on is going to be my mood and habit tracker. As I said, the moon and bunny illustration go from hands to hands. 
I choose to draw a crescent moon for the header. Right now I'm coloring the moon. Later you will find out I pasted gold foil paper on it. As for the habit tracker, I drew this bunny with beautiful butterfly wings. I don't know, I had a little different image while drawing this, but I ended up making it, it a little messy. And for marking my mood on the days, I drew circles that are connected to the bunny. All the circles are irregularly placed. At first, I thought it might be a good idea. I don't know, I just had something else in my mind, but I hope it looks okay too. For the habit tracker, I don't really have many habits like others. I'm trying my best to follow a few, like studying a new language and drawing more than usual. I just wanted to do something different, but I couldn't able to find my right interest in anything. It would be really helpful if you guys drop a few suggestions of stuff that I should try out. Anyways, I have recently bought these stems and I wanted to do, try them. It's my first time using a silicone stems and you will see how I mess this page up a little later. To be honest, I'm not really a fan of stems. I'm kinda always mess things up and I'm a little clumsy. Is there a way to use the stems correctly? I kinda suck at this. A few of the letters didn't really stand out. There you go. You can clearly see how I messed up the last circle while picking up the stamp. And for the solution, I pasted this floral sheet and I added this lace pattern sticker. And this time, I'm being really very careful with the stamp. Didn't want it to mess it up again, and I pasted a few stickers. This is how it turns out to be. It looks minimalistic, but you know, I can't really go well with that static on my bullet journal so I ended up pasting gold foil on the moon and adding a lot of doodles because it looked kind of empty to me and now moving on to the last spread it's going to be my weekly spread I like to keep my weekly spreads very tidy and neat and spacious so I can write as many things as possible Anyways, coming back to the drawing, I drew a lot of clouds and a bunny hiding in between the clouds. I drew this illustration in the middle of the spread so I can write the days around the clouds like the way I added those circles in the mood tracker. I had an idea to make this moon a little creative so I pasted this gold foil and added this lace pattern sticker over it and I added some doodles around it so much for minimalistic dream and this is how this turned out to be. Let's have a quick flip through of the entire theme and to be honest, I liked how it all looks. 
Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye.